What are you talking about, Eddie? The purpose of being a free agent is to get the best deal that you can get. If somebody is willing to offer you that amount of money in order to fight for three three times and have the ability to be on pay-per-view and then have your fights be seen by millions and millions and millions of people again, because, see, there's one thing that Canelo Alvarez got out of the DAZN contract, and that is money. But other than the money, Canelo Alvarez didn't get anything out of that deal. He didn't get uh, an increased exposure. He didn't get... You know, his name in, you know, he didn't get it, his name in big promotions because everything that he did was on the zone. And there's <laughs> those are the words of uh, Fanon once again, as he was countering the idea of why it's not a good idea to uh, diss the zone deal. Now, he said that Eddie Hearn thought it was a bad idea because it defeats the purpose of being a free agent signing a three fight deal which in fact it does you know and Fanon was like well that's that's the reason why you want to be a free agent so you can get the best deal for the most money now I could kind of see that I could kind of see why you would want to pick that you know uh that type of mentality because yeah you want to be available to get the biggest money okay let me counterpunch that when you're dealing with PBC Fox on that type of platform, when you have pay-per-view versus a guarantee, and then the guarantee is really based on the pay-per-view, like a lot of people don't tell you and um, about certain type of fights. Why do you think people throw, or a lot of these fighters are on pay-per-view? A lot of these fights are on pay-per-view because they the network doesn't want to guarantee that money for that fighter. So who's going to pay it? pay-per-view the people so when we pay those uh those uh prescriptions uh subscriptions um when we pay those that amount to watch that fight we are paying that certain we because they have to make a certain number a dollar amount to ensure that guarantee if they don't they won't get that money okay that's why the networks do it and it'll just hey it's a flop it's a loss so they don't blame it on the network. So the networks don't have to come out of pocket as long as it's on that particular uh, platform, okay? Whereas the zone, they have to pay that type of money because the network already has that money up front, okay? Based on how many people get that uh, subscription, okay? So when you subscribe to the zone, they already have their number, but they also have the money to back that just in case the subscriptions don't do what they're supposed to do. All right, so that's that. Now, with him saying that the zone is a smaller platform and Canelo Alvarez will once again, if he was on PBC, get the exposure that he used to get, that's BS, right? All by itself. Why? Because boxing is not an American sport solely, okay? It's not American. You, you, you can't over here UFC. If this would be if this would have been a UFC situation, yeah, I could kind of get that because America over here UFC is flourishing. People watch that by the abundance. To the fact that boxing knows, like, hey, let's wait to this show shows over, then we will bring that on just to improve how many how, improve the views, okay, on bot for boxing because they know this big show over here is going on, so they're not stupid. They know what's happening in America. And they know what's popular in america now as far as boxing though canelo alvarez is when they especially when the zone reached other parts of the world okay that's where the exposure blew wide open okay so canelo he became a star like joshua because now at this point people are seeing Canelo based on the amount of UK fans that are UK fighters that he's beaten. He's creating UK fans. Now he has a UK promoter. Okay. That goes everywhere from Dubai to Saudi Arabia, to Europe, to Spain. Okay. To the U S he's all over the place. All right. So that type of exposure is needed. Okay. And compared to an American based pay-per-view, which a lot of times if, if you look at PBC and Showtime, 
people on the other part on the other side of the pond as you guys know it's hard to even find if the uk if b if bt or sky sports don't pick that up you're not going to see that fight from showtime i know for i, I look i i'm i partially live in the caribbean okay so if i'm if this is a saturday like today and we have castaño and charlo fighting i better have a fire stick you know, because they have like Delancer or stuff like that in cable companies over there, Delancer or whatever. They have those, but that's not already, they're not guaranteed to pick it up unless maybe Castaño, because he's from Argentina, maybe they will have it. But this is, if, if this is Tank versus uh, another American fighter, I might not, I might not see that. And I sure as hell can't get Showtime over there. So yeah, those type of problems, uh, uh, happen because we don't have that type of uh showtime is an american-based network and you can't watch that you would have to find something somewhere else or probably look at it illegally god forbids right to watch the fight so how can you say canelo going back on pbc fox for a three-fight deal would be good you know what i mean it won't be and it won't be me exposure. I think the zone and PBC, I think PBC is more American based. He's already has He already has the American, uh, uh, um, fan base. Okay. He doesn't need the, the Americas. He does. He doesn't need Canada, uh, us and Mexico. He's Mexican. Okay. So he has Mexico and he's been fighting in America for how long? Eight years. So he has that already. So he took that fan base, which Fanon doesn't understand and moved it over to the zone. Okay, that was the whole thing. You had big stars that went to this platform. And this platform, the zone, which a lot of people on the PBC side wanted to ignore, right? Couldn't ignore anymore. Okay, and then like I said before the last video cut out, Deontay Wilder was offered a deal on the opposite side to from the zone. Now I think he should apply that. Uh, mentality of the, of Deontay Wilder taking the zone deal or being a free agent because he could took the best deal and that was the best deal for him at the time, not what he's doing now fighting Fury and accusing Fury of cheating and all this and everything went south and now Fury looks like he's trying to get out and get out of the fight and all that. It's a lot of drama, right? And he took the wrong deal, you know. So he could have fought for the undisputed. Now he's only fighting for the belt that only he had. He's fighting to get his own damn island back. But he was offered a hundred, over $100 million because he was a free agent. He decided to go back. Then that network dropped him as soon as he had that first fight with Showtime. And that was against Dominic Brazil. These are facts, people. So that's what that is. And I know he was trying to compare Canelo's offer from Al Heyman. Well, Canelo was already getting a shitload of money. Deontay Wilder was not. Okay. However, the zone deal upped his... Uh, a value because they offered that to him. So you, he can't say he was never offered a hundred million dollar deal. So people will take him seriously. But if you're brainwashed into the same platform and the same mentality, and you go back to the same thing, that makes you insane, insane. Cause you're doing the same. <laughs> okay. So I know what he was trying to convey when he was talking and trying to compare, uh, Canelo Alvarez to, uh, Deontay Wilder. Okay. The deals are too different. You know, they were crossed over like this, but Canelo Alvarez is not after money per se, cause he's made millions of dollars. Okay. And he's going to make millions of dollars. That wasn't guaranteed for Deontay Wilder when he was offered that or for him declining that deal. Okay. Because that wasn't his thing at the time, even though he's doing well, but he could have done a lot better from the zone if he would have had faith in the zone. But anyway, that's me counterpunching this uh, $100 million deal with Canelo Alvarez from Al Heyman. You guys tell me what you think. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunching. Peace.